Antonio Vittorino is the Director General of the IOM and he joins us now from Geneva. I've just been talking to Filippo Grande, uh, your colleague at the Refugee Agency, who uh, made the point that policy, EU policy, um, with regards rescuing people at sea is, is frankly not nearly good enough. At this point, the mass drowning of people is almost normalised. The European Union failed in its duty to protect those at sea. How have we got to this point and what needs to happen next, sir? This tragedy, I sincerely hope, Becky, will alert all of us for the urgent need to find solutions. And I think that there are three key points. Mm. The first one, we need a search and rescue state-led operation. We cannot just leave to the NGOs, boats, uh, the task of rescuing people in the central Mediterranean. Secondly, we need swiftly mechanisms of disembarkation of the people that are rescued and need desperately support and assistance. And last but not least, we need that there is solidarity among the European Union member states, which means in very concrete terms that those who are rescued will be relocated to other countries because the burden cannot stay only on the most exposed geographically countries, mm. but we also need to return those who cannot stay to their countries of origin. And these three building blocks are urgent because the figures right. show that, Let's as you said, there are people dying.